Hello, this is uh, Andrew Hopgood. Um, I'm just going to give a just a warning, really, and some considerations I've been thinking about for a long time now with uh, targeting targeted individuals and uh, individuals. So I'm just going to give you some few thoughts and take a stroll with my dog, and uh, just want to warn people about uh, Jesus Christ uh, and the truth. I'm not talking about religion. Religion's nonsense. It's redundant. I'm talking about a personal relationship with Jesus Christ through faith alone, in the grace and merit of the Lord Jesus Christ alone, and what He done on the cross. Now, repentance simply means a change of mind. And you must have faith to approach the Lord for the forgiveness of sins. And he will save you if you if you, look, you seek him with all your heart. Now, I've been looking into remote neural monitoring and I'm invest, currently investigating that. And I just want to reach out to all uh, targeted individuals around the world, really, in, in, in the UK and anyone who's uh, experiencing difficulties. And I'm just going to give you a few thoughts to con uh, of my considerations. Now, I, I, I don't want to mock or, or put down anyone's efforts. I, I want to encourage people to don't hide behind, um, you know, come out in the open, give your name, don't be afraid, don't fear. Fear is what is one of the, the major tools of the enemy is to fear. You know, to fear what people think, to fear what you'll be made of. It's just let your yes be yes and your no be no. Be positive. And um, I want to uh, really, what my thoughts about is, is there really ever going to be any justice? Now, I don't want to knock any efforts. I'm, I'm for justice, totally, 100% behind it. But I just want to consider that that may not be a possibility. But I do not want to chuck a spanner in the works with anyone's efforts in meeting justice because I have my own testimony sometimes you go through the emotions even though you think you're not going to get any justice going through the emotions of attempting justice is important it's vital so I'm not mocking or knocking anyone's efforts in getting justice for targeted individuals I'm just considering the possibility and it's what I as a as a Christian, I, I have that perspective. I really don't, the way this is running out brazenly, I really don't feel that we're going to get any justice at all. So uh, I'm just going to uh, stop the video now and uh, take a stroll and, and add some additional thoughts. By uh, two or three witnesses, um, every law shall be established. Now, for all you atheists out there, that comes from the Bible, that comes from Paul the Apostle, that comes from the Jewish law, from God, from given to Abraham. Now if you don't believe that, then you don't believe in modern justice, and you don't believe in mercy. It all comes from God. So I'm just going to give my, um, a bit about my own account. Now I've established what's happening to me, being a, a targeted individual, victim, stroke, survivor, MK Ultra. Now I've established for myself by evidence, by witness testimony, by factual evidence and piecing it together. And today on, on YouTube, now I'm just now just consider YouTube and Twitter and Facebook. These are all human conditioning programs. Now I'm not saying one hundred percent but that's what, it's all about research and development, you know, uh, and uh, studying the mob rule, you know, how the mob acts, how nature works, it's all mapped, it's all, it, and, and then it's all used for evil, and all, all, all the good people, or all, all the people that claim to be good and doing God's service and doing, uh, you know, fighting for freedom and all this, all this talk and all this rhetoric are the enemy. They're, they're the evil people. They're the base people. They're, they're basically just against people, everyday people who speak the truth. Now, there's so many reasons why you've, you you may be targeted. It may be just to research. You've just been chosen out of a hat. You know, there, there's so many uh, things to consider of why and the reasons are matter. Uh, and I'm just going to talk about my own personal reasons and some of the evidence. Now I want to talk um, 
Now, I'll just establish for myself, I'm, I suffer with a trauma-based uh, disassociation. Now, it, I'm not going to get into that too much if you're not aware of that, but that's, I was traumatised as a child and I've been kept in isolation and experienced many traumatic events throughout my life. And every avenue of care has either been bogus or, or the doors have been shut. Now, I've got all the evidence, but I'm not going to give a full account of my testimony because today people don't want to... Most people don't want uh, to watch anything over five minutes. They want a quick buzz and a text and a quick, a quick sound bite for their knowledge. Well, you can't rely on that. You have to do. You have to dig deep and you have to study. Now, there's a lot of good um, platforms online who are establishing sober accounts. So I'm not against trying to get a a lawful case through the courts. You know, I'm, I'm fully behind that, but I don't, I feel in this, I believe in this day and age it's not going to happen, because if they're doing it this brazenly now, why isn't it not being processed? Because the world's evil dominate, and they're going to dominate, and I can only see this getting worse, I cannot see it getting better. I hope I am wrong, and I hope this does get overturned for a period, and I'm fully supportive of any efforts towards that, whether that's individual, whether that's a group party of people, I'm totally for that. Now, now establishing my uh, targeting, um, I'm going to give you two accounts, I'll give you three accounts. Um, now, f this is about um, what I believe, and I'm, I'm always re-evaluating re what I've researched, and um, just to, you know, just to re-ascertain what the evidence I have, whether that's a witness testimony, whether that's a, a factual document, a whistleblower document, anything like that to establish some lawful points that, is, you know, if I was given my day in court, I'm sure I would, you know, I would win my case. But I don't, uh, that avenue's closed down, that's very hard to attain. You, you're fighting up a hill, it's unjust. And it's set up unjustly, this world, in iniquity, because, uh, you know, the, the big dog rules, you know, the, the beast rules. So any little guy is going to get uh, shut down. So um, just about uh, gaslighting, or what you call gang stalking. Now, currently, I am not, what I believe, I'm on a, you know, the main monitoring system, and it's all, it's all orchestrated by a com uh, supercomputer. Now, that, I, I'm looking into the factual evidence of that, and, and it's out there. It's true. It, it exists, and it's been proven to be used on the public in the name of national security. Um, so, two gas, uh, three, three experiences where I'm in my home and I know that they can hear what, what I'm saying. Whether that's by thoughts, so I'm unsure, whether that's by microphones and, and devices like that. I haven't established that, but I'm leaning more towards remote monitoring. That's mapping your thoughts, mapping your mind, uh, and all that technology. Now, when my mother was um, at home, I had to fight to get her out of hospital because they were trying to cover up all their, all their, uh, their she had a brain tumour and, and they, they weren't treating her. And I had to fight to get her out. And, and the only reason I got her out was through, through faith in, in Christ. It was fully up against me. I was alone. That makes me more vulnerable because they can turn a blind eye. I've been into hospital with a collapsed lung. I went straight through the accident emergency and I was left in the cu cubicle for about eight hours without any treatment. So they were trying to kill me off. I knew that and by the grace of God, I survived it and I got the treatment and they kicked me out and they took a dodgy DNA swab. So that's how, after that, I, I, I believe and discern I was put on this remote neural imaging, uh, pro, you know, hive computers and this. It, my targeting increased, the gaslighting decreased, uh, the, the gang stalking, but I still get gang stalking. I had an experience yesterday and a few weeks back I have, it still goes on, so always be vigilant and, and whatever you do, don't give your DNA sample to anyone, any private body, any hospital, if you can help it. So, uh, my advice would be do not give your DNA to anybody, you know, that's sacred. Um, and that will be used against you. And I, I believe I was um, 
put on this system uh, after my DNA swab. Then they could map my um, brain resonance and track it like a SIM card. And I've, ex I've been on the other end of that and all the pieces fit nicely together. So I believe they can uh, basically map your thoughts. Map, you know, and, and that's quite frightening. And the way, the way of my escape has been very narrow. I wouldn't have survived this without the Lord Jesus Christ and my faith in Him solely. No one else, not religion, just Him personally. I don't go to church. I'm isolated. I, uh, you know, I live on, I live with my elderly father, and I live uh, basically we're on our own, and I experience so many different things. Now, with my mother's care, um, I discovered they weren't treating her, but they were lying and telling. And this was the whole community nurse team, the local surgery, and the department, uh, the, the NHS in, in Great Britain. And there was just basically no care. It was just like get these people you know, finished off as quickly as possible and cover cover our own backsides. And I called an emergency uh, doctor out one night and um, a paramedic and she gave my mum a full medical and revealed the counter, you know, revealed to me the truth of what was going on. That my mum had a serious infection, they were just bandaging over it and telling me that it was okay. And she gave me a full report, uh, blood, oxygen levels, the infection, and she signed it and she said hide this, put it away, and I hid it, I concealed it in my home. And when, when the palliative nurse teams come to collect all their stuff, because they left all the bandages, the scissors, and all the, so when they turn out, it's just all there for them. And they, after my mum died, and they come to clean out all the stuff and all the, the stuff you get from the hospital, like toilets and stuff, you know, rails and stuff like that, they're supposed to collect that. They didn't collect that, but they, they went hand in straight on the document while I was distracted, and I was being distracted on purpose. I had a threatening phone call, indirectly, to, to threaten me that a false accusation against me that I wasn't treating my mum with medication. And uh, they honed in straight on the lawful documents. So they, that was my evidence, and that, that they stole that. Now that was concealed where they wouldn't have been able to find. No, there, no way would they have known where it was. It was tucked right underneath a uh, cupboard, and they went honed in straight on it, got it, and went out and left all their stuff there. So that was one evidence to me that they can hear what you're saying and what you're talking about. Now, we, yesterday, um, my dad, in the kitchen, my dad come down, woke up out of bed, he lives downstairs, I live upstairs, and I was by the uh, gas stove, and he said, oh, have you got a light? So I passed him a, a lighter, and I said, haven't you got a lighter? And I so, uh, and he was talking about, oh, I'll pick you one up when I'm out. And uh, as I, I was going to get some plumbing parts, you see, from, um, from the town, it's about a two, two and a half mile walk. So I walked off to the town to get the, uh, it was a bullcock for the uh, low, low level system. And as I got to the, the place where they sell the parts, uh, there was a young man and he stood to the side and in his hand was concealed a lighter and he lit it and he just held the flame there and he was looking at my eyes to see if I was watching and he wanted me to see him hold the lighter. So that was just the, you know, a trigger, a marker to say that he had heard the conversation in the kitchen and he was just letting me know. I took my notice and just thought, oh. but it, did, it, it does aggravate you, it does, I won't lie, it's a violation, it's disgusting. But um, I'm well over those things, but um, they still happen, I still get um, heated up at night, I still got the ringing in the ears, I, you know, I get um, attacks on my chest. You know, all this magnetic weaponry, it's all used alongside this remote neural monitoring system. Now, I can't confirm that that is actually the case, so I'm, I'm still looking into it. Um, another example of gaslight, I'll give you two more actually. Well, one will, now they must listen and profile you, so they, keep, they must keep a record of on, on your personality, on your psychology. And I, as a, as a two-year-old, I had a, a violent experience where I was thrown out onto, uh, I was only in my shorts, and I was thrown onto a broken windscreen, uh, broken windscreen, 
Now, as I walked out the door shopping, now, I, since I, that, because the memory was suppressed for so many years, when it came out, they obviously knew about it and heard about it, and then, lo and behold, in my path, there's this broken windscreen, like, all scattered across the floor. It looked like it had been placed there. It wasn't an accident. It, there was, it wasn't swept off the road. It was well away from the road where a car would be. So I knew that it, it was windscreen glass because it, it shatters in a certain way. So it's deliberately placed in my path for me to, you know, just one of those little, little psychological um, forms to get out here. Now, the other instance was one morning, because I get um, nervous anxiety and I get um, post I suffer with post-traumatic stress, and I, and I, was, I was sort of had numb fingers, and I was in the kitchen and I was shaking, my, you know, to get my circulation going, shaking my hands, and I said to myself out loud, I really don't, I said to my dad, I think, I really don't feel like going out today, and I was shaking my hands to get, um, you know, the circulation flying in my fingers, both hands. Now, I was going shopping and as I was walking um, I come across this lady and she she was walking towards me now just a normal ugly lady and she shook her hands right in front of me and said oh, I really shouldn't I really didn't feel like coming out today you know all innocently and then she walked past <laughs> now see these are the, these are the techniques that are used on you now there's no good in filming that unless I'd film both instances otherwise it would it would look ridiculous oh, that, that lady's gaslighting me she's gang stalking me you know you can become obsessed with it and you can film and then you think oh it's this person it's that person but these people let you know because it's something that they've heard and they've been monitoring and they will they will let you know where, that it'll be something either in your thoughts or what you said out loud in your home so that's evidence to me there's i, I can think of many more cases to me that's you know, I don't need to kid myself. I don't think I was it or isn't it. It certainly is happening. And I really don't see, because it's so brazen, I really don't see that it's going to it going to um, resist. So that's really my, my warning, you know, my my thoughts and considerations for people. But not, not to, you know, wet on people's firework. I, I don't want to discourage... Uh, anybody, I don't want to be a, um, a messenger of doom and gloom, but uh, but hope. Now, the only real hope in this life, forget forget the targeting for a minute. I'd like you to consider your life. If you die tomorrow, all right, you may not, you may say there is justice out the road, and you um, maybe jump, and you see tomorrow, uh, uh, and you don't see tomorrow, and you don't see the victory of it. You know, where's your soul going to be? Now, I know your soul, if you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul is going to be in hell. And it's going to be stuck there forever. It's a reality. Because I know Jesus Christ, I have a relationship. I don't doubt that. I can't force that down your throat. I can only offer it. Offer you the opportunity of the gospel, the good news. Now, the good news comes with bad news. Now... God is a just holy God, and every sin we've done is a mark on our record. We can't, we're all liars, we're all sinners. We can't put that right, it's inherent within us. We've all got up, we're all born with that right, uprightness. We can all do good, and we can all predominantly, we can either be born predominantly good or predominantly evil, but we can all do good. We have free choice. Now, the free choice we have is to either believe in Jesus Christ or not. God won't compel anyone. But if you die in your sin, you'll go to hell. And that is the most important thing I, I, I need to reiterate, because Christ died for people to save them. Now, if he didn't die, if he wasn't God, well, you have to come up with some other answer. You can justify it away. But in, when, if you were to know, you would know. If you were to know Christ and God, you would know that hell is a reality, that eternal life is a free gift. And once you call upon the Lord in faith, he saves you. He gives you that free gift of eternal life. There's two certainties in life. You're born and you die. 
and after death is the judgment. Um, it's written. In, it's all in the Holy Scriptures. I'd, I'd, I'd invite you to get a King James Holy Bible. It's a faithful, preserved book. Most Bibles today, or if not all of them, are corrupt, and they're, they're knocked out by evil people and the Vatican Church to, to, to twist the Scripture and remove passages and verses and change the meaning. You need a King James, it's faithful and it was uh, released by faithful believing men and it was done lawfully. It's a lawful book and it's copyright free. Just like the gospel, it's a free gift and that's my invitation for you to seek the living God for yourself and put aside the targeting for a minute because Jesus Christ, now I've heard people say, oh Jesus won't help you. He's helped me. I've been a target for over 47 years. There is no way on this earth I could have survived what I've been through. And I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to boast. But you might have the strength to endure one, one year, two years, three years, ten years. But if it doesn't stop, how far are you going to get on your own? Right? It's a narrow road. It's a straight and narrow course, the truth. And if you don't know Christ and you come across a dead end, you may not be able to get over, overcome it. Now, if you're, if you're one of those people, right, are you, what hope are you of? of who are you, where are you going and who are you lead, who's following behind you? Where are you leading people? Because if you haven't got the hope in Christ, what hope have you really got? You're blind, you don't know where you're going. You might think you know where you're going, you might hope and have a good feeling about it, but feelings can deceive us. You know, feel that the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Right? Only Christ revealed what was in our hearts. Only Christ said we were liars. No one else came up and told us. You know, the, the Lord revealed all wickedness by his pure holiness. So if you have Christ, you're, you're, you'll be delivered through it. That doesn't stop the targeting, but that, that gives you a, a, an escape. And it is a narrow escape, believe you me. Some of the things I've passed through would have been impossible without, without my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And it's him I praise, it's him I thank every morning. It's him I look to, it's him I hope for. And, you know, that doesn't stop your trials going away. But that gives you hope, it gives you comfort. And that's what I'm offering, hope, comfort and eternal life. It's not, I can't give it. I can only, I, I can only point and offer you the message, the invitation. I'm just a messenger. I've received, and all I can do is offer that to everyone else. And that's what I want to do in the context of reaching out to targets, reaching out to MK Ultra survivors, some satanic ritual abuse survivors, anyone along those lines who, who's experienced a hopeless, a hopeless uh, experience. To me, targeting is, I wake up every day and I dread it. Oh, how am I going to get through it? You know, it's relentless. It's psychologically hammering. It's oppressive. It's a violation. It's disgusting. It's one of the most worst human, human atrocities in our modern day, apart from all the the, the, well, I, I, I can't really compare it because you don't really see everything that goes on behind closed doors and in other countries. We've had it really soft in this country and this program is globally rolling out worldwide. It's a ongoing research and development. It's not fully active yet. You're, you're just guinea pigs at the moment. You know, and it's learning and testing on expendable people. That are, people are considered merchandise. You know, oh, they're not worth anything. We'll, we'll do it in that group and that batch and this person. For whatever reason, I don't know all the reasons, but I just want to offer hope and some truth. And I want to invite people to really consider their life and what life's about. And, and, and why, you know, this program is a sort of like a chastisement. God is judging the world daily. We're under condemnation. I'm not under condemnation. I'm saved by the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ. I've accepted him. So I'm free from it. I just have to pass through it, you know. My life's free. I'm joyous. I'm depressed, but I'm happy. 
you know, that sounds like an oxymoron, but I can survive this, you know, and I do every day, believe you me, for like giving up and kicking out and smashing up things and really getting angry. But I put that anger off because I have Christ and I, it helps me deal with it and that's all I want to offer to people out there who are targeting because I can see the world has not got that to offer you. It might offer you false hope and there may very well be justice but just consider if there is no justice people where are you going to turn and you, are you going to consider those people that give up and that they can't make it now I'm considering these people who are killing themselves because they just don't know what's going on and, that, and you can't trust mankind you know we let you down we can't consider we're selfish by nature I'm just considering in the heart and mind of Christ, he died for all men, he died for, he, he's a feeling God, he feels after, he died for all these people. Now if you reject him, if you reject the Son of God and, and the free gift of eternal life, well then you don't deserve it and your, your judgment will be just and you just, and I've put some scripture, I'm, I, I, I filmed some scripture reading this morning and I'm going to put them in this video. And I invite you and encourage you to listen to them and, and get a King James Bible and study it. And he offers hope, true hope. You can know that for sure. You can know the Lord God for sure. You, know, you, you do not need anyone else to tell you, a vicar, a priest, a rabbi, because you will know Christ today. Salvation is today, because to tomorrow you may be dead and are you going to consider those people that you don't know who are going through this who haven't got YouTube haven't got, haven't got the privileges we got I'm considering those people I'm trying to consider all my heart isn't that but I know my saviour my saviour's is and it's and that he's who I am speaking for and he's I'm offering that invitation to every targeted individual, every victim, every survivor, everyone under this persecution and oppression and it is a righteous judgment of God that he's merciful and long suffering. He will allow things to roll out. He will allow evil to roll out. People say, oh, there is no God. Look at the evil in the world. Well, the evil in the world is because the men, men are wicked. They love their own self. They love their own, oh, I know better. You know, I can do what I like. We're all guilty before a just holy God. And, and I'm just going to leave it there for all of you. And I just want to say, I know how awful it is. And I know God is a merciful, compassionate God. But if you deny him, you deny life. You know, look around, look at this beautiful creation being destroyed by wicked, selfish men. Consider that, please. You know, consider your life. Consider your salvation. Consider your eternal life, because the soul doesn't sleep. When you die, you continue to exist. And if you exist without life, without the, the author of life, the author and finisher of life, who's eternal, we're in time, he's outside of time, he's eternal. You will be stuck, and that's called hell and death. You'll be stuck in eternal death. You won't be asleep, you won't have a body, you'll be a nugget, and you won't be able to see, and you'll be in a fiery torment of anguish and regret, and you'll feel like a fool because you didn't believe in Jesus Christ and you use all these excuses oh it's nonsense, it's religion it's nothing to do with religion the truth has always been buried and it's for those who will believe it those who will seek it will find it it's that simple so uh, over and out and I, I just hope everybody's doing well and I hope that this reaches the people that really need it and I say this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen Okay, uh, just the... <laughs> Just an additional uh, thought, a uh, thing I forgot to mention this morning during my video. Now, uh, early hours of the morning, kind of in dream state. Now, it could have been a dream, but I'm going to mention it anyway. Uh, I had this image sort of like projected into my head, like a, a short three second advert. And uh, it was talking about um, sort of like... Uh, the art, the, uh, the sort of what we're talking about, the targeting with the computers and the uh, mapping your thoughts, the uh, 
the mapping technology in the telekinesis or tele telepathy to not technology and it's sort of like a virtual image of um it didn't film a mind it was just a small portion like it was a like like a, a film projection on the wall but in my mind um i've had some like strange dreams and uh it could be my own dreams or they could be plants i, I don't know but since the technology exists or so they claim um I thought I'd mention it, uh, so it could be a dream. But there was a short, a short advert of a woman standing in it and saying the success rate of this technology and putting those uh, adverts into uh, visual images and animation, like a film, into your mind. And and she she said something like, uh, you know, the the success rate was, you know, uh, some percentage, and and it caused paranoia in a proportion of the percentage I can't remember the figures something like 40% of people it causes paranoia she just gave off the short rhetoric of what it was about and there's this big initial C I D and uh, that was projected into my mind as I was awake as awake as I was waking up so that could have been a dream just subconscious subliminal or it could have been a plant so I don't know so I thought I'd I'd mention it, you know. I, I didn't really want to mention it because it's like feedback. It's like a, so if it if it was, um, you know, done with a computer over the airway, so to speak, it's a confirmation that it's you know it's successful. But I'm sure they've tested it anyway. But so I thought I'd uh, if it is true. So I thought I'd just mention that as an additional thought because that's one of the things that made you know uh, sort of prompted me to do the video today plus plus other considerations I was having so I just want to add that additional thought thanks second uh, Peter chapter 3 this second epistle beloved I now write unto you in both which I stay up your mo pure minds by way of remembrance that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles of the lord and saviour knowing this first that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation for this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of god the heavens were of old and the earth standing out the water and in the water whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and the perdition of ungodly men but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day the lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to us would not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance second uh, peter chapter two but there were false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately privily shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction and many shall follow their pernicious, pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not and their damnation slumbereth not for if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah and the, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, can condemn that which an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelleth among them, in seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day from their unlawful deeds.
He that overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and adulterers, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake with fire which lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped the image these both were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone Testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. And no man have ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. He that believe on him is not condemned, but he that believe not believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God and this is the commandment that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved but he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds might be manifest that they be wrought in God He that, over, he that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And what he hath seen and heard, that he testifieth. And no man received his testimony. He that received his testimony hath set his seal that God is true. For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God. For God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. He that believe on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believe not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Deuteronomy uh, chapter 4 But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Hebrews 11.6 but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Psalm 142 I cried unto the Lord 
with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him, I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they privily laid a snare for me. I looked on, I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge fame failed me, and no man cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall come past me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder, and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decre decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for my possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is uh, meet, because that your faith groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all, all toward each other aboundeth, so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of God, for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God, that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which ye also suffer, seeing it is a righteous thing which God, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who are troubled, rest with us, when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Wherefore also we pray always for you, that our God would count you worthy of this calling, and fulfil all the good pleasure of his goodness, and the work of faith with power, that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you, and ye in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ.